Hi, so before we start, quickly, so I'm John Fred, I'm a Wikidata volunteer. Hi, I, I'm Envel, and I'm also a Wikidata volunteer. And I'm Tracy, and I get paid <laughs> <laughs> to volunteer for Wikidata, but I'm also enthusiastic to be here today, and I work for a research board. All right, thanks for coming to our presentation. Some of all video games are wrote to make Wikidata the hub of all video game metadata. Um, so first off, why should we even care about video games? Like on there's just like kids playing Fortnite or something at night. Um, <clears throat> so video games have been here for a long time, like in the 70s or 60s or 40s, like depends what you ask. So you can check Wikipedia's extensive coverage of what is even a game. Um, it's a major cultural industry. More than 2.5 billion people play in the world. And um, we estimate that at the very least 100,000 to 200,000 video games have been published in that time. And that's not counting uh, games published on the Play Store, then you go to the, the, the millions, which is like not that much when you're on Wikidata. Um, so a little um, overview of the uh, current state of video games on Wikidata. These numbers are also on our poster in the uh, ground floor, so you can also have it there. Uh, so we have uh, um, video games or the Q7889, and we have eh, 38,000 of them. Uh, which is not that much, considering that there are at least 200,000, as I mentioned. We also have expansion packs, uh, DLCs, um, and compilations, but we also have, for example, uh, game controllers. We have a lot of game consoles, uh, 700, that's a lot. Um, we have an extensive ontology of video games genres, that's pretty cool, 200 of them, and um, we got started a little bit on magazines, so also maybe video games could be a satellite event for Wikisite, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Um, but what about outside of Wikidata? Um, there are a lot of databases out there about video games. Uh, you may have heard about like some very big ones like Moby Games or IGDB. Uh, there are also a lot of very special interest databases, so databases that only cover um, certain types. So it says the visual, no visual novel database only has about this kind of niche genre that is a visual novel. Or you have databases that are only about games published on the Commodore 64 and so on. Um, but you also have government agencies and uh, commercial players. Um, government agencies include, for example, the rating agencies, the one that puts the little labels, not good for your kids under 16. And the problem is that there is no common identifier around all these databases um, that, that binds them together. There is no cross-linking, or at least very little. Um, some database might link to their neighboring slash friends database, like the Amiga database, talk to each other a little bit, but you won't have one easy way of saying all that. Um, so they have different data coverage and specialization, and that often comes also with conceptual differences. Um, a database might consider a game is a work, if you're like into the FRBR model, or that might be an edition, or that might be the particular console version. Um, so there is a lot of granularity in there. And, um, and that's important in terms of coverage because um, some database, uh, for example, Moby Games has a lot of information about a lot of things, but it doesn't have a lot of information about the games that were published on the early French computers like the Auric or the uh, Thomson TOMO series. Um, you will find that into um, more French databases. And yeah, if you go into Eastern um, um, video games like China or Japan, it's not very well covered in Western databases. Uh, enter Wiki Project Video Games. Uh, that <laughs> we didn't make that one actually. <laughs> um, uh, so it, it leaves at that address, and uh, there are a lot of subpages. And uh, we're going to through, go through a little bit of what this project is made of. Um, as often, uh, there is. We'll separate that in what's old and what's new, and what's borrowed and what's blue. Um, so as old, we have, like a lot of wiki projects, we have um, an ontology description with all the properties. So there are currently 64 properties, mostly for games, but also about series or hardware. Um, and we have a fairly extensive, I think, um, how to put, to put it, um, separation. So you have things about the staff, but also about the narrative universe or about uh, the gameplay, like how many players there are. So you can explore this. It's kind of very exciting. Um, we also have example queries. Uh, if we have time at the end, we might show off some, but you can just explore them yourself. Um, yeah. uh, we, also, yeah. we also have uh, something new, uh, because these, those things uh, don't usually exist on uh, other uh, wiki projects on Wikidata. Uh, for example, we have an activity log. Uh, you, can so, you can see it here. 
Uh, on this activity log, we track uh, the activity of the project. So we, when we publish uh, a blog post or, some, or some, an article somewhere, we, we add it here. Uh, when we create a new identifier property or any property related to video games, we also add it here. Um, we also have achievements, like uh, in January we had the completion of uh, uh, an entire uh, external identifier. Um, another thing that we do is we have a task list. Uh, the task list uh, can be used by newcomers uh, to the project uh, to, to do things in the, um, in the project. Uh, it can be patrolling, so we, we give them uh, insight to, to where, go, where patrolling and how to do that. Um, it's also uh, where we lack data and how they can help, so the, and so on. Uh, we also have something borrowed. Uh, we have a lot of pages of statistics reports. Um, a lot, yeah. Uh, we also have an external identifier dashboard. You can, you can see it here, uh, where we track. Uh, uh, I don't say, I don't know if you can say it, but we have more than one hundred external identifier for video games. So this is huge. huge. And here we can see uh, for each identifier uh, this, the topic and also uh, the completion of the identifier. So some of these things we, we borrowed from the some of our paintings and other things that becomes more blue. Um, so the integrality tool that was made initially for some of the paintings, um, I extended it for video games and then I might as well have done it for everybody. Um, so yeah, one day we'll get all of these. So this is the, um, the, the, the core properties, the genre of developer publisher uh, along uh, video game systems. So Windows, uh, PlayStation consoles and so on. Uh, so as you can see, we have a lot of work to do uh, for even like the very basic core properties. Um, so yeah, one day all of that will be blue. Um, what have we been doing? Um, what have, things that we've been doing a lot has been creating identifier with all these external databases and, and aligning them. So Envel mentioned, we have created over 100 external ident identifier properties um, that covers very big databases and very tiny ones. Um, we've been using the mix and match tool extensively uh, for, for matching. And sometimes we've been using things a bit more advanced that Envel will, will detail in a moment. Um, yeah, so 100 external identifier properties created in roughly a year to two years and over 60 mix and match catalogs. And I started tracking how many Q7889 items uh, didn't have any identifiers. And five months ago, it was 15,000. And today, we're down to 9.6 thousand, which is very much thanks to the uh, <laughs> teaching assistant of, uh, of Tracy. Um, so still 9,000 to go, but um, getting there. Uh, so uh, um, we need to uh, import a lot of data to uh, complete those uh, identifiers. Uh, the, the first tool to do that is the Wikidata website. Uh, I think it's important to, to say it because it's where we can fix the, the small problems or um, so on, so on. Uh, but we also have a dedicated tools to do that on, uh, on Wikidata. Uh, there is Mix and Match and its gadget. Uh, the, the, wiki, the Mix and Match wiki gadget is a, is a gadget that you can add to your uh, account in Wikidata and it adds um, all, um, all identifiers uh, uh, found by Mix and Match to uh, an item. And you can, add, you can easily add several ad, uh, IDs uh, in your world. Um, all other tools, uh, there is a quick statement, of course. Uh, but you uh, also can use uh, more general uh, tools like uh, OpenRefine, DataIQ, DataSense Studio, uh, etc. Uh, the point is, uh, it's very important for this project, and I think for all projects in Wikidata, to have an LC, an LC ecosystem of tools that works. Uh, uh, so we, I sit. To two examples of imports. Uh, the first one is connecting PC gaming uh, 
wiki and wikidata it was made by uh, a volunteer uh, he made his uh, own uh, program in ruby so that's an example uh, the second one is uh, linking the whole like video game vocabulary with wikidata uh, it was made using um, open refine and missing match and i think uh, tracy can uh, talk more about this one um, and I have a third example, uh, which uh, is uh, one I made. Uh, I matched um, the catalog of uh, BNF, so it's a bibliotheque, a French national library, uh, with uh, Wikidata. So they have um, about uh, 4,000 uh, entries about video games in their catalog, and I matched uh, all, uh, half of them. Uh, uh, to Wikidata. Uh, so for that, I made a project in uh, uh, in Data Eco Data, Data Science Studio. Uh, you can see the workflow uh, on the here. Yeah. Uh, I will not detail it, but if you have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I also developed a Data Eco plugin to to do it to facilitate uh, Sparkle querying because it's not included in the in the tool. And one cool thing that happened uh, after, the, after this one is that the BNF uh, contacted me uh, about this project, so it was very cool to, to have feedback and uh, that the contact was established. Oh, um, so and another topic, uh, the link. So we want Wikidata to be the linking hub for video games. Uh, as you can see here, uh, a video game is, and as Jean-Fred said, uh, a video game is about a lot of things. Uh, we have reviews and scores, sp uh, speed zones, uh, news, uh, library IDs, uh, soundtrack, etc. Uh, we don't want uh, all this data to be in Wikidata. We want this data to be linked to Wikidata. So we want uh, Wikidata to be a hub, um, and like Lydia said yesterday, uh, plus Wiki, we want to see Wikidata as a place you you come and then you you go uh, on another place. So I think that's it. Yeah. And as you can see um, by the links. Um, um, video games has a uh, really lot of as uh, aspects to uh, research <laughs> and video games are really complex uh, cultural artifacts. They, they are ports, they are add-ons, they are remasters, re-releases, mods, updates, downloadable content and so on and so forth. Plenty of remakes and or remaster editions are separate items at this state in Wikidata but not necessarily. Additionally, remakes are not often linked to the original work using the property based on. And perhaps we should create an uh, entity schema for the video games, but we are still in the process to get a discussion started for the data model of video games. Um, mostly we have one item, um, what we typically recognize as the game. Uh, when we say we played the same game, so it's like a Mario Kart 6, uh, even, even if we played it on different platforms, so uh, example on Switch or on Wii U or something else. The wiki uh, data item for a game aggregate character characteristics um, which are shared among different versions and uh, or additions. This makes linking not easy because uh, many databases describe games on different levels as Jean-Frédéric mentioned. Um, for instance, some have one database entry for each edition and this results in more than one identifier for each video game item. And so the use of specific qualifiers is needed. Um, we have some discussion thinking about the creation of different editions items um, um, for editions or releases, as this is good practice for literature, but the further model, which is used for books, uh, seems not uh, use useful for everyone. Um, this is also an ongoing discussion with the video game research community about the best data model for video games. 
And speaking about video game research um, and the research community, there is an active video game research community with a growing interest in data about games. Sadly, there's no national li there are no national libraries for video games which had a comprehensive data set with authority data about video games. Yes, the BNF with 4,000 video games, but um, there's still more outside. Um, that means researchers rely on data um, on video game fan databases, uh, fan databases. But as we know, there are so many and uh, so different, deep and breadth. <coughs> And what makes it even harder, the data is, yes, not open. And so could be Wikidata a source for video game research? Yes. Um, I work for the research project Digger, and we have decided to work with Wikidata for our video game research. And we not only use the data which is already there, we create data about video games and companies by hand or automatically in Wikidata. Um, additionally, we have created about 20,000 links to mobile games, Game FAQs and the Japanese Media Art Database. Uh, we also initiated uh, the alignment with the OLAC video game genre vocabulary. Um, so video game research colleagues in Japan also exper are also experimenting with Wikidata to use it as a work authority for video games. So our research focuses a lot of spatial data about video game companies and where video games uh, have been released all over the world. So we use data for um, video game databases like Moby Games and Wikidata to create some analysis like this. We call it Lemon Grab, the tool, and the researcher can select one or more platforms and one or more uh, release countries, and he will get an overview about which companies are big players. In this case, the number of published or developed video games um, for this combination. Um, additionally, they can see which country is uh, strongly represented by these companies. Mm -hmm. Or we use Wikidata Query Service directly to create maps uh, of companies within the video game industry. So uh, at this date, I think about um, there are 5,000 video game companies um, already in Wikidata, which one, uh, we have created half, half of them, I think. <laughs> So, uh, in conclusion, after two years of working with Wikidata for our research, we are very pleased, especially with the cooperation with the volunteers of the video game task. Thank you for that. And um, we think Wikidata can be the one-stop shop for video game research because it already aggregates so many links to very specialized sites and it is not realistic uh, that we put all the data into Wikidata. Thank you. Um, at the same time, um, we want to be useful for the researchers, but we also want to stay or to be or to become, however you want it, useful to the Wikipedias. Um, right now, some Wikipedias are using the data from Wikipedia from are using the data from Wikipedia for their info boxes. So if tomorrow we just revamp the entire data model in a way that they can't use it anymore, doesn't sound like a great idea. So we we'll try not to do that. Um, what we want. To be, I think we want to be enhancing other databases, uh, and that's something that's already started. So if you go to the Visual Novel Database right now, vndb.org, um, following actually a research uh, workshop that we did with the nice Digo folks, we could meet with a database, and they were interested enough with all the linkage that we made that they could harvest uh, more links about the entity that they talk about. So like, well, okay, thanks to Wikidata, we also retrieved uh, reviews or, um, or speed runs on, on, or store where you can buy these games. So we are already being useful. Um, so that was a fun example, but uh, we also, the, um, this German research agency started the International Computer Spiel Sammlung, uh, um, <laughs> which is online, which uh, has all the data about the, the German uh, video games that they have, what they have in their collections. And they've been using Wikidata to enrich the data, at least for labels, so they have alternate title, titles. Um, so that was also pretty cool. Um, we also like 
I think Wikidata can be the backend for powering applications. So an example that already exists is Vigilis.co, and in, in some ways a bit, little bit similar to what Inventaire.io does for books. Vigilis.co does it for um, video games. So you can, it's a, it, it's an app where you can record the, the games you've played, how you spend, and your favorites. And I just really like the fact that it's built on on top of Wikidata. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and maybe one day we can just like connect all these things together and uh, and harvest a sparkle to to query data and it really doesn't matter where it is and and, and say yeah data is not the database and that will be fine um, yeah thank you very much and we'll take questions we just have five minutes for the questions Hello, I really love your project, and I, when I want to contribute, where should I go? Um, so there was a short URL in there, and as Eva mentioned, there is a um, there are tabs at the top with the link to the Sparkle queries and so on, and there is a tasks, uh, which is like a couple of suggestions of where to get started, but it's not mandatory. You can, you can work on whatever you want, obviously, but um, yeah, that's a nice place. And if you have a project, you can also bring it to the uh, talk page. It's not a very lively talk page, like a lot of Wikidata project talk page um, in many ways, but um, at least I will read and answer, so that's a start. Do you already have something in mind, or we can talk after this if you have something in mind. Hi, Lizzie. Hi there. So I work with a group from University of Copenhagen and University of Washington who are working on an initiative called Atari Women recognizing all the women who've been involved through the years with the Atari game system. And so I'm wondering if, I, I believe that your wiki project covers the developers, the designers and such, um, but obviously it crosses into the biography kind of part of our world. And so how, how does that work? Like. Is there someone who's more specialized in that area who these folks at these two universities could, um, you know, connect with or thoughts? Um, I don't think there will be somebody in particular. Um, my impression of the contributors to the project is that they are fairly eclectic. Sometimes people specialize on, on a very specific niche topic. In that case, I don't think so. so I'll be happy to take the call. Uh, so to answer the question, yes, I would definitely be in scope of uh, of our project. Um, and in that period particularly, um, I don't think we want to turn, like because these days video games are made by like 1,000 people and do we want to create item about every single person? It's like the, 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 like the credit rolls of a movie, right? So in modern times, I don't know if we want to be that database, the ultimate database of game credits. Um, but for the uh, Atari early days, oh, definitely, I would love, actually love to see the data set because, yeah, it's a lot of dudes in, in common knowledge of... I'll you yes, please. <laughs> okay. uh, <clears throat> any other questions? Uh, oh. Okay, so there, there, um, yeah, yeah, sir, in the back. Sir, just in front of you. Ah, okay. um, do you collaborate with the Internet Archive? Because I, uh, there's not a month going by that Jason Scott doesn't post his rescued 170,000 old DOS games or stuff like that? Um, we don't, so there, there are Internet Archive's identifiers on some game items, which is a bit weird because usually on the Internet Archive it's gonna be a particular release of the game. Again, on the difference, so the, I, last time I checked, for example, there were four or five Prince of Persia on the Internet Archive because they have the Apple II version and the DOS version and so on. Um, so not explicitly. Uh, and in, in general, I think we probably want uh, to to, um, to make some connections in, in more general with the video game preservation scene. Uh, there is a quite lively um, yeah, organization that work hard on video game preservation. And I think Wikidata can be um, a useful resource for them because they don't have to manage the, the metadata and they can focus on yeah, managing all the things. Um, do you have something to add to that? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, perhaps? I have the same question. So <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, there was one more question back here. Uh, if... No, probably I elucidated. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For one minute, we can show a query. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. You have 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, will the query service survive this? Yeah, yeah it, no, it looks uh, like, <laughs> like uh, the uh, 
Do we have links in the PDF actually? Yeah. Uh, tic tac, tic tac. Well, I. Query. There is still time. I, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, during your presentation, did you notice that some of the identifiers have more than 100% yes. completion? Yeah, it's because the, um, the examples, is, uh, so there are two reasons. One of the usage for example itself, because they're used on the as examples, and also sometimes because there are broad matches. So if it's uh, something that is a bit... Uh, um, so yeah, that's in one of my favorite, if I can scroll it. It's the uh, characters of the Mario franchise linked to their games. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you can find like Wario and uh, Princess Peach and so on. And my favorite is if you look somewhere, yes, because there is Mario somewhere here and there is Dr. Mario. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the item, it's said to be the same as uh, <laughs> because Mario Plumber and Mario uh, Physician uh, might be two different people. We don't really know. <laughs> Thank you very much for this presentation. <laughs>